This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And as we talk about tags, we also need to include talk about cloud tags. A lot of times you may see these on different websites and you're wondering what the heck they are. They may look something like this, a bunch of words, some bigger, some smaller. Or it may look something like this, where the words are just kind of actually, they've used a special plugin and the words are floating around. These are the tags that we just talked about in the last video. Tags are kind of like an index, an index page that talks about the different things. Actually, in a cloud tag, you can actually, a lot of your um, plugins form will let you choose whether you're going to have your categories here or your tags here and different options, and you can choose that. But it acts kind of like an index. People can click on it, and it will take them to the words that go along with that. If I was to talk on, click on plugin, you can have plugin and plugins, and that's not very good and consistent uh, for my tags. I should just have one of them, and I'm going to go back in and change my tags later. But you can see as I put in plugin, if you want to find plugins, that's a good place to find them. Actually, better on this side to actually pick the category plugin. So that's how the tags and the tags uh, work. Now to uh, add your um, Cloud tag, you can do that. It's actually um, a widget. Go over to appearances on the side. Let me scroll on down here. Appearance, and then click on widget, and it'll take you to your widgets. Our next section is going to be talking about widgets in the sidebar. But one of these is called Tag Cloud, and you simply just pick it up, take it, slide it over, create the cloud tag. You can decide whether you want tags. Or categories, you can give it a name, type something there across the top, um, and then hit save, and it will be up and running. I installed one of the Tag Cloud plugins, there's several of them. This one's called WP Sources, like a type of cloud. If you want to have this, you go into plugins, click add new, and then search. Type in WP Sources in the search, and it will come up. Then click install and activate. And once you do that, all you have to do is come over here to your widget and just take it, pick it up, slide it on over. And it's got different settings. You can give it a title, um, how tall, how wide you want that cloud box to be, how fast you want it to refresh, all these different things that you can put on here. Um, size, this is the size of the font, the biggest size, font size you want, how many pixels you want to have. The words get and the smallest size you want it to get and you can change the color maybe the color you have is making it kind of invisible on your sideboard from the side of your sideboard so you are you can change these different things here or you can just leave it as it is uh, you can choose how many items you want showing up 10 20 15 5 and just put the number there that you want um, and once you have it in there the way you want just go ahead and click save and you'll have this cloud tag on your site. There it is. You can see the cloud tag and you can see them all moving around there. Um, I'm going to go ahead probably and not leave that on there. I don't like the way my tags are right now and things. I'm going to change those and modify them some and maybe something will come up over here that I like to look bit better. But um, it's something that you can have on your website if you want. It's not something you have to have. A lot of people do ask about it, so I went ahead and included it so you know what it is. And that's one of those optional things just dependent on you, your site, your readers, what you would like to have for them. Anyway, um, have fun, and um, this is uh, Heidi Caswell with WordPress 101 for Boomers.